Hadley, we're going to draw a really important statue today. What are we drawing? The Statue of Liberty. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. you got a marker and some paper. You ready to draw her? Yes. All right. We're going to first start by drawing her head right in the middle of our paper, and we're going to draw a circle. And it's towards the top, so we have room for her body. So I'm going to draw it kind of big, too. Cool? Mm -hmm. So we're going to start up here and draw a big circle. Yeah. Perfect. You did it. Now we're going to draw the crown on top of her head. So we're going to draw a big rainbow line that goes over the top. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, now inside of this we're going to draw another one right down the middle. And that's for the top of the windows. Did you know that you can climb up inside of it? Yeah. And look out the windows? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw the windows. So let's draw two lines down for the first window right in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to draw two more over here on this side. And two on the other side. And then I'm going to draw even two over here that's even smaller. And then let's color in the windows. Okay. Great job. Now we're going to draw the spikes. We're going to draw an A line that goes up and then back down, right in the middle. And this is the tallest one. Then we're going to draw a slightly smaller one right next to it on each side. Yeah. Then we're going to draw two more smaller ones on the, very, on the side, on the right side, and then two on the left side. Good, we did it. <laughs> now let's draw her hair. We're gonna start right here in the middle and we're gonna draw an S line. It's gonna come down, curve one way, and then back the other way. So come down first, like you're almost gonna make a J line and then curve back the other way. Perfect, then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, repeat it. All the way to the edge. Good. Now we're going to draw the texture on her hair. So we're going to draw curves going this way on the right side. So we draw curves. Yes. All the way across. And then we're going to flip the curves going the other direction on the left side. Okay. All right. Now are you ready to draw her eyes? Yes. Let's draw two circles. And we're going to draw her kind of cartoonish. So we're going to draw two big circles for her eyes. <laughs> and then inside of here, let's draw two more circles, even smaller. And then we're going to color in the big circles, but leave the little circles white. Okay. Oh, and you drew eyelashes. I got to do that too. One, <laughs> two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, now let's draw her smile. And I'm going to draw a little smile right in between her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. She's got her mouth open and she's got chubby cheeks. Okay, Hadley, what should we draw next? Her body. Her body. Let's draw two lines. We're going to start right under her chin, right under her eye. And we're going to draw one line over here. And we're also going to draw a line on this side for the right side of her body. It kind of looks like a robe. Yes, it does look like she's wearing a robe. Mm-hmm. Good, and one on the other side. And then down here at the bottom, we're gonna draw a straight line to connect because she's standing on a really big pedestal. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw two lines down on each side. And then we'll connect those two lines also. Okay, now let's draw her robe. We're gonna start over here on her shoulder and we'll draw a diagonal line down. Then we're going to turn it into the letter Y and we're going to draw another diagonal line going the other direction. Now let's draw a wavy line for the bottom of a rope. So we'll start over here and we'll draw a wavy line going across her body. 
Good. And then let's draw another wavy line going the other direction. Now we're making it look like her robe is layered, so let's do another wavy line that matches the first one. Okay. Now she has one foot sticking out of her robe down at the bottom. Yes. So let's draw our big toe first, draw an upside down U. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna draw three more toes. We're gonna draw one, two, three. They got a big foot. All right, and then we're going to draw... Yeah, it's a tiny one. <laughs> you have a tiny <laughs> foot. <laughs> then we're going to draw the robe parting where her foot is. So we're going to draw a curve that comes down and connects to the left side of her foot. And then we're going to draw another curve that comes down and wraps around the other side. All right, now let's add a few more wrinkle lines in a robe. So I'm going to come back up here to her shoulder and draw two curved lines coming off her shoulder. And then I'm gonna draw two curved lines that are longer off of her right shoulder. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna add two more wrinkle lines. And also on the other side. Okay, we did it. We finished her robe. Now let's draw her arms. Yes. Now on the right side or left arm, she is holding a tablet. So let's draw a short line that comes out and it's going to come out diagonal. Yes. And then we're going to do a diagonal line down. Then we're going to do a diagonal line that matches the first one that we drew over here. And we don't want to connect it to her body. Then we're going to do a short line that connects in. Okay, now she's hanging on to it with her hand. Let's draw an upside down U. And then we'll draw two lines for her fingers. Good. <laughs> now let's draw her shoulder. And we'll start up here on the corner and connect it to the tablet. Then we'll come down here and draw her sleeve that's hanging down a little lower. All right, we did it. Now we need to draw the torch that she's holding in her right hand. Yes. But it's on the left side of our paper. So let's draw, we're going to draw a straight line right here. We'll draw a straight line. So we can draw it right about here. So we draw it right next to her cheek. And I drew it a little higher on mine. Good. Now we're going to draw two lines going up on each side and then connect the top. Now we're going to draw a U, but the right side is going to be taller and it's going to be diagonal. So watch this. Whoa. This is for the flame that's on top of the torch. Uh. It looks like a J. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to draw a V in right in the middle to connect. Looks like a check mark. Mm -hmm. Check mark. <laughs> Ding. Ding. <laughs> okay, now at the bottom of this, let's draw one more rectangle right below that first rectangle we drew. Okay, now let's draw her hand. We're going to draw a circle. 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 And then we're going to draw two lines for her fingers. And we can also draw her thumb. Let's draw a little C-shape, backward C-shape for her thumb. Oh, now let's draw the bottom of the torch. We'll draw a U that comes down and back up. Tall U. Okay, now let's draw her arms so that it's not floating out there in space. Mm -hmm. Let's draw a diagonal line. It's going to come down and connect to her shoulder. Yes, now right in the middle of this line, we're going to draw a longer line down. That's for a rope. This is for a rope, yeah, the sleeve on a rope. Now we're going to draw a J. It's kind of a J line that goes back up. A hook. Yep, a hook. This is for the wrinkle in her sleeve, and then we'll connect it into her body. Now let's draw the other side of her arm right here. 
Let's connect the flame into the torch so it's not floating. Yeah. Okay, we gotta do one very last thing and we gotta draw her hair. And I also think it's like a ribbon. She's got some ribbon in her hair. So draw two lines down to connect. Yes, perfect. Yay. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our Statue of Liberties and they turned out really cute. Did you have fun? Yes. You promise? Mm -hmm. Okay, we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color her. Yeah, we need to color her. Now we're gonna use the computer to color her, but you guys can use whatever you want. You could use colored pencils, you could use oil pastels or markers. Yes. You know what else you could even do? What? You could do this whole lesson on a green piece of paper. <laughs> because she's green, right? Yes. She's kind of an aqua green. And you could cut her out and then you could put her on a blue piece of paper for the sky. Yes. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. If you had fun following along with us, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. And then after they subscribe, what should they do? Click the bell. Yeah, if you click the bell, you'll get notified every time we upload a new video. And what's down here in the corner? More art lessons. More art lessons just for you. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.